Okay guys, stone 15th anniversary. Sorry, I'm going way too fast on that pan. This is not at the brewery itself. This is at Cal State San Marcos, uh, local university. And as you can see right, well, maybe you can't, but that's the Lost Abbey booth that has this long ass line right now because they have a special beer on, which is this one right here. Get a little shot of the taster glass. This is, I believe, yeah, bourbon barrel aged angel share with black tea and freshly, I think pureed peaches. I don't know, there's peaches in there. So up front you get big bourbon notes, a um, little bit of like a herbal itness with the tea, but then it finishes with big time caramel notes and the peaches. And it's a sweet peach, it's not a sour at all. It's a, it's a pretty interesting concoction. They're calling it the Vern, V-E-R-N. Um, so yeah, they have a special five gallon keg of this and it's probably be gone within at least the first, oh, who knows, 20, 30 minutes of this festival. I don't know, people are getting two tasters of this stuff, but it's pretty crazy. And it's probably, you know, people are starting out with this. It's probably at least 12%, you know, like regular angel sale, 12 and a half, 13, somewhere along that line. So that's what I'm starting off with here. And I'll try to get some more footage on all the tasters I drink and kind of give you a more feel for the uh, facility. Um, up on the hill up there is where they have the uh, rare beer tents. If you get the all day access pass, you get rare beers and uh, it's a separate little hangout up there. More shade. I don't know what's on draft up there. I didn't want to do that, but thankfully found a table here to sit in. Highly recommend getting here early. Um, at least, at least a half an hour, if not sooner, to grab some shade. And uh, I'll try to get a tour around this place. Show you all the booths all and about and all the other kind of neat stuff going on here. Oh yeah, there's Russian River. You know there's a line where you have the more popular videos. Uh, they have Temptation and Plenty on, I think. Anyway, way more stuff down there. Uh, it's a pretty nice place, but I mean, there's going to be like at least 3,000 people, I think, at Session A that's sold out. So, uh, yeah, I don't even know if I can really capture this because it's kind of like terraced out on the hill and there's boosts all around, big tents. Okay, next taster up is Russian River Temptation. Might as well get a, uh, a nice refreshing sour after drinking that sipper of a Lost Abbey beer. So yeah, I've shot a review of this one. Very wine-like, tart, nice beer, bit of funkiness in there as well. So that is number two. Okay, this is Stone Ruination. Double dry hop with Nelson and Simcoe. Okay. And it's also oak. That's a terrible job. And uh, tastes really, really amazing. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's one of the best versions of Ruination I've ever had. Definitely get the oak in there. And um, a lot of bitterness, a lot of fruitiness. Tropical fruits from the Nelsons. It's awesome. Okay, so taster number four is the Stone Oinyu Jolly Pumpkin Special Holiday Ale. This is the Oinyu uh, version, uh, which I have actually have a bottle of. I just haven't drank it yet. Maybe I'll bust it open for uh, the holidays. But yeah, it's a nice spiced kind of winter warmer type of beer. Okay. So this is from a brewery up in Los Angeles called Eagle Rock, and this is their whip beer, which is uh, it's pretty nice. It's going to be the uh, one of the few beers here that I've never had before, so pretty interested in uh, trying some of the stuff from Eagle Rock. Heard some good things. I think they won the uh, Pro Am competition at the Great American Brew Festival last year, so that's pretty cool. Anyway, it's a pretty solid whip here. All right, we're in line for the brewery. They're gonna put on a special keg of Bedazzled, which I've heard of but completely forgot what it is. And I didn't look it up, so it'll be a nice surprise here uh, as everyone waits. It's a special keg that I tapped at one o'clock. Okay, so one of the special kegs here at the festival is from the brewery. This is their Be Razzle. It's a, uh, well, a raspberry beer. Um, not quite a sour. It's got a little tartness from like fresh like raspberries in it. It's a pretty easy drinking, good summer day beer here. So this is uh, Endeavor, 
Uh, not even close. Just kidding. I'm just kidding. This is Endeavor, I Endeavor IPA from Bear Republic. I've uh, never had this one. I think it's a regular IPA. It's uh, more good stuff from uh, Bear Republic. Pretty solid IPA. Not the most pop forward one at this point, but um, really solid uh, West Coast IPA. Really? You guys want to get rid of trash here? Okay, so this is Black Marcus Rye IPA. I've had this before. It's a gold medal winner at the Great American Brew Festival. Uh, certainly one of the best uh, Rye IPAs I've ever had. Pretty awesome. So I have two tasters left. Uh, we'll see what comes down to you. I kind of got to hurry up. I was pacing myself too much. Now I got to kind of rush it at the end. Okay, second to last one. Stone. Got to have another stone beer, right? It's a stone anniversary festival. This is the uh, smoke porter with vanilla beans. I've never had this version. It's a special draft only beer they do. They've never bottled it to my knowledge, but um, take their smoke porter, add a really nice amount of vanilla on the on the back end of it, and it's a great beer. I still haven't reviewed this one, the regular version of the bottle, but highly recommend trying out the vanilla bean porter version if you can get it. time for the last call here at uh, Stone 15 Anniversary Festival. Merch booth over there. I just pre-ordered the uh, the book they're doing, which allows you to buy some of their other barrel-aged beers. You gotta do that. Beer geek, right? You gotta you gotta buy those beers. So. Oh, yeah. How you like that? Huh? Yeah. A lot, a lot of people here. I'm guessing. I think I think there's about 3,000 people here today, and. Uh, yeah, the rare beer guys up there get like bands and stuff, so uh, they're pretty special up on the hill. I didn't want to do that because the rest, the rest of my group didn't want to do that, spend the money. So, uh, last beer of the day is Stone IRS on cask. Oh, someone just broke their glass. Someone just broke a glass. Anyway, Stone IRS on cask. Great way to end Stone's 15th anniversary festival. It's a good time, worth the 40 bucks. It all goes to charity. Any proceeds go to charity. So, uh, recommend coming out here if you can uh, make it.